What is going on guys, it is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use Discord with your PlayStation 5 console. So before I get into today's tutorial, I just want to clarify one thing, and that is that you cannot actually install a Discord application on your PlayStation 5 console. That is unfortunately not possible at this point. I know that Sony and Discord are working together to incorporate some kind of game chat or Discord application on PS5, but as of right now, in late 2021, early 2022, that has not been implemented. So I'll be showing you two ways to kind of use Discord on your PS5. The first way is to access it via a web browser on your actual PS5 console. And the second way is to have Discord chat audio play alongside your PlayStation 5 game audio and have it come out of the same audio device. So if you'd like to see that method, which actually incorporates both audio sources pretty seamlessly, then skip ahead to this timestamp right here. But first, I'm going to show you how to access Discord via a web browser on your PlayStation 5 console itself. So unfortunately on PS5, there is not an integrated web browser application like on PlayStation station four, so it's a little bit harder for us to search for Discord directly, but it is still possible to open up a web browser if we send a direct message to someone with a link in it that will allow us to open up a very uh, bare bones web browser on the PlayStation 5. So to do that, we're going to press the PlayStation button and we're going to go here to game base. And I would suggest just sending a message to one of your alternate profiles if you have one, because your friends are most likely not going to be happy if you spam them with links to Discord without any other context. So either send it to one of your friends that hasn't been online in two years, or just send it to one of your alt profiles like I'm doing right now. So just type in www.discord.com. I've sped this up just so you don't have to watch me type for 10 seconds. And once you've typed it out, you're going to press R2 to send the message. And it's going to have that link right there and it's going to open up the Discord website right here. So if we press download, it's going to give us an error and let us know that we're not able to do that on this type of device. So what we need to do is log in and open Discord in this browser here. So to do that, we're going to log in and just put in your information. I've not gotten the QR code to work on this browser. Most likely the PlayStation browser blocks it somehow, but uh, you can log in by using your information here. All right, so once you've put in your information, it's going to log you in and you'll be able to view all the Discord servers you are a member of, and you can view all of your friends and see if they're online. Now, if we go into a server here, I can attempt to join a voice channel, but it's not actually going to work. If I select it, it just does that, and it doesn't actually let me join. If I go to a text channel, and I go to actually type in some text, I do something like hi, done. It just sits there. There is no send message option on Discord, and uh, we can't press enter because we are not on a PC, so the message just stays where it is. You can send a GIF or a GIF, however you want to call it, so you can do that, but that's all you can send. You can't actually send an, a message, unfortunately. So this is nice for viewing messages and checking up on your friends and uh, different servers that you are a part of. But if you actually want to communicate with people in ways other than sending GIFs, then you are unfortunately out of luck with this method. So that was the first way to get Discord to work with your PlayStation 5. However, most likely if you are using Discord, you actually want to use the voice chat feature to communicate with your friends. So the second method I'll be showing you today actually does allow us to do that. We are basically going to be sending audio from our PlayStation 5 to our Windows 10 PC, and then we are going to be outputting that audio from the PC along with Discord audio coming from the Discord application. So the main upside for this method is of course that we can use the voice chat feature unlike the first method, but it's also good in that we can use all of the other features of Discord like joining servers, sending text messages, and all that, because we're basically just using Discord like we normally would on our computer. So for this to work, we are obviously going to need a Windows 10 computer with an audio jack port. We are also going to need a mail-to-mail two-way audio cable, and of course we need our DualSense controller because that is where the audio output is going to come from. So first, plug one end of your audio cable into your DualSense controller, and then over on your Windows PC, plug the other end into an available audio jack port. Now, the port you plug the cable into will depend on what type of computer you have and what ports you have available. So if you're using a laptop, which typically only has one audio jack port, just plug it into that one. Most laptop ports are two-way, so they accept audio coming in as well as audio going out, so you should be fine. You will not, however, be able to output the audio unless you use the laptop speakers or some sort of USB dongle. If you have a traditional tower PC setup like I have here, you will most likely have a variety of ports on the back of your computer, which are color-coded to their purpose. So here on the bottom row of mine, there is a pink port, a green port, and a blue port. So the pink port is for audio in, specifically microphone audio. The green port is for audio going out to speakers or headphones, and the blue port is for audio going in. So in this case, we can use either the blue port or the pink port. Not all PCs do have the blue port, so I'm going to be using the pink port. And since I'm plugging it into a microphone in port, it'll show up on my PC as if I actually plugged in a microphone. 
Now before we head over to our computer, we should change a few settings here on the PlayStation 5 console first. So head up here to settings, and then go down here to sound, and then go to audio output. And just make sure the audio output device is the headphones connected to the controller so that the audio will actually go out of our controller to our PC. If you're experiencing low volume uh, coming out of the line in on your PC, then make sure that the headphone volume is turned up or turned down however you need it to be. And once you've configured all this on the PlayStation 5, we can head over to our PC to finish setting up the line in settings. All right, so from the desktop of our Windows computer here, go down to the sound settings and select sounds. This window will then open up, go here to recording, and you'll see a list of the microphones we have currently connected to our computer, as well as all the microphones we have connected to our PC in the past. You'll notice the microphone here is the one I'm using right now to record this video. This option right here is for the blue line in port I mentioned earlier. And lastly, this microphone here is the device I'm going to be using to capture the PlayStation 5 audio on this PC. And of course, the reason it shows up as a microphone device here in the options is because we plugged it into that pink microphone port. So don't get confused by the logo. It's actually our PlayStation 5 audio it just appears as a microphone on the computer here so right click onto that make sure it is your default device and it is enabled then go down here to properties then go over here to listen and make sure that listen to this device is selected here that allows us to actually hear the audio coming in from that port so if we were actually using a microphone we would use this option for playback but we can use it to our advantage here with the playstation 5 audio so it just plays that through that port and through our headphones so once we've selected that click ok and then you should start hearing the audio playing from your PlayStation 5. And you'll notice here on the level meter that sound is coming through and the computer is picking it up. If your audio cable isn't showing up here or there isn't any sound coming through, make sure that you are using a two-way audio jack cable. I have one, for example, this green one here that is just one way. It's just for sound going out to an audio device like speakers or headphones. It is not for audio going into a computer, but this cable I have right here is for two-way audio. It can accept audio coming in and it can also send it out. Another reason why you're not hearing any audio is simply because the volume isn't turned up enough. There are at least three different places where you can adjust the volume. First is on the PlayStation 5 where you can adjust the controller volume output. You can also adjust the individual audio device volume on your Windows 10 computer. And there's also the master volume you can adjust as well. So play around with the volumes. Make sure they're all up high enough where you can hear. The output from the controller is actually pretty low. So I'd recommend turning the volume up all the way so you can actually hear the sound coming out of it. Now the final reason you might not be seeing or hearing your PlayStation 5 on your computer is because your device drivers are out of date or they are incompatible. So make sure to download the correct or the newest device drivers available for your computer. Just go to the manufacturer's website and download whatever drivers you need. Usually it's real tech, but be sure to go to the manufacturer's website and download from there. And then once they're all up to date and they are the correct version, they should recognize the line in. So once you have it working like this, it's pretty easy to use it with Discord, just join a voice channel. And now you have your Discord chat audio here, and you also have your PlayStation 5 audio right here. And obviously if you want to hear both simultaneously, then make sure to have both playing at the same time, and make sure that your playback device is selected. So if you're using uh, headphones, make sure that is selected as the default. If you are using speakers, make sure that is selected as the default, and you'll have both coming out of that audio device at the same time. So the main drawback for this method is, first of all, the cable running from your controller to your PC, the extra steps you have to take to actually hear both. It's not too complicated once you have it set up, but it is still something extra you have to do to actually get the voice chat working between the two devices. Uh, the other main drawback is you are going to need to be able to use and actually see your computer while you use your PlayStation 5. So if you have a multi-monitor setup where you have your PlayStation 5 on one monitor and your PC on another, it's just fine. Or if you have a laptop that you're using, that's also just fine. But if you have a setup that works for this method, then it works just fine. And it is the best solution there is right now to getting Discord and PlayStation 5 audio to play at the same time. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you really loved it. If you have any questions about today's tutorial, be sure to leave those down below in the comments section. I'll try to respond to those as quickly as possible. Otherwise, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide. Be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day.